Welcome to The Tipping for the semi-final round of the AFL 23. I am currently down under, so I am in a slightly different environment. Let's get picking this week. So we should first look at how we did last week, but I can straight away say it didn't go so well. And it didn't go so well for my swans either. Now, the first game was Thursday. It was Collingwood versus the Dees. And I thought maybe, maybe, the Dees could have won. I really thought it could go either way. Collingwood have been playing really well this season. They finished top of the ladder. Whereas Dees, they were right up there. They were right up there and there was every chance they could have won this. Luckily for the Dees, it's not the end of the road um, as it was a qualifying round for them. Uh, I did the Dees to win by 10. Unfortunately, they lost by seven. Ah. Never mind. So I did not get anything. It was fairly close in the predictions uh, percentage wise. 65% went for Collingwood, but I get absolutely nothing on the board there at all. Then we go on Friday. Ugh, this is depressing. <sighs> Carlton 74, Sydney Swans 68. We were so close. One, one goal to making it a draw. I do get a close result though a close score should i say only 22 percent of people went for swans which i'm i'm still slightly surprised about if i'm honest but carlton won um it was a just a, i'm disappointed by swans because i think it's a really it's really a lack of discipline lack of lack of good decision making and really poor kicking you know think of all those behinds we scored if we just got one or two of them through the middle post, we would have won. But yeah, it was not a good result. And the Sydney Swans are out of the finals this year. Then if we go down to Saturday, we had St. Kilda versus GWS. Now, this is a much closer prediction. Um, it was a 45-55 split between St. Kilda and GWS. But GWS ran out the winners by 24 points and that means I get one point for the result and half a point for the close score. I was only four points off a correct score. So that's pretty good. That means GWS um, are through to the next round. St. Kilda are out. Then the last game, Brisbane versus Port. And I went for Port. It was a mistake. Um, Brisbane don't lose very often at the Gabba, which puts them in good stead for the next round in the playoff, uh, prelim final, sorry. 89%, um, I'm amazed how many, 89% uh, of people went for the Lions. Only 10% went for Port, I'm, I am slightly shocked. I did Port by 10, Brisbane won by 48, so nothing for that one not a good week we should probably see who is still top of the table i think it's obvious who's top of the table because he's having a blinder still uh jackson still right at the top fantastic there is no catching him now i don't think um frenchy he's moved up one there's a little battle still between uh oh azimuth's gone down too uh there's still a bit of a battle sort of yeah no there is between Anywhere still, sort of between 8th and 2nd, can still change places, I reckon, but Jackson's still there. Let's see some movers and shakers. Uh, SMCPIE, SMCPI, uh, up 4. Any big movers? Ragnarok X is down, 5. Uh, keep going. Sarah Ma up 6. Buzz Two Cats up 6. Oh, Cripper down 9. Where am I? M's up 8. Wooden spoon, Godra. Godra gets the wooden spoon this week. Uh, Magpie's up eight. We have still got a bit of move. So I'm surprised there's this much movement seeing as there was only four games. But there are some people that have moved up a decent amount. Magpie's 20, 23, up eight. The Salmonator down five. Igsy down six. Oh, this is painful because I just keep going down and I've still not got to me yet. Ah, so the golden hat this week goes up six places. Emors, uh, well done, well done. And still no sign of me. Ah, this is depressing. Down five, a bad week. Only one correct with a close score. 
puts me down five places. I should have just done the obvious. <laughs> I should have just done the favorites and I would have been fine. <laughs> that has been the story of the season. There's only two games this week. This is now into knockout round. Uh, MCG, Whew, you ready for this? Demons versus the Blues. Um, who is, this is a really, really tight one. Both on pretty decent form, but obviously Melbourne come into this game with a defeat from Collingwood. Um, but I still think Collingwood are on a slightly higher level than, than Carlton, but this is a very, very difficult game to call. I, I, I don't necessarily think, you can not like me for this, that's fine, but I don't necessarily think Carlton were amazing against the Swans. If you see how many behinds we got, it meant that the Swans had a lot of opportunities that were given to them by Carlton not necessarily defending very well. So I've got to go with these this time. I've got to. I'm sorry, I know it's against Carlton again this week, again. Um, but I am going to go the D's by 10. Ooh, I, I we'll go D's by 10, not too much. Um, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Then Adelaide Oval. Port Adelaide versus GWS. It's Port's home, but GWS have been playing well. Um, did I'm pretty sure the last time GWS played over at Port this season, they did lose. They lost at the Oval last time. I'm pretty sure, if I remember rightly. There's so many games, it's really hard to remember, but I'm, I'm sure um, they came over and that may have been one of their losses. Maybe they lost to Port after um, they lost to Sydney, I think. I think I'm going to go with the home win. I think the home advantage may be too much for GWS. Um, hopefully Toby plays rubbish, Toby Green, um, because he is still a scumbag whether you like it or not. Uh, I'm going to go Port by 12. Yeah, Port by 12, that's two goals. So there we have it. There are the next two games in this round. So we've gone for D's by 10 and Port by 12. We are so, so close to the grand final. We've got this round, next round, which is the prelim final, and then the grandest game of them all uh, at the MCG on the 30th of September. Thank you so much for joining me along this week. Again, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see if anyone, who it's that top, top second spot, isn't it? And, and the top group, um, no one's beating Jackson, but who can squeeze in for second place on the league. Thank you so much. Please do make sure you like and subscribe. We are down under, so things are slightly different at the moment. I'll catch you next time.